Howdy, this is Texas Jim, your drone pilot, taking you on a short flight showing the historic abandoned Harder Hall Hotel located in Sebring, Florida. It's April 18th, 2019, 2 p.m. with a temperature of 90 degrees and a heat index of 94 with windy conditions, departing in two seconds. Porter Hall was built in 1927 in Sebring, Florida, a Spanish colonial revival style architecture with 134 rooms and 50,000 square feet. Named for its developers, Louis F. Horter and Vincent Hall of West Palm Beach. Horter Hall was built in Sebring because the city was a stop on the Atlantic Coast Railway Line. In 1953, it was bought by Victor Jacobson and partners Larry Tannenbaum and Sam Levy. In 1954, Victor commissioned golf cart architect Dick Wilson to transform the on-site golf course into a championship layout. Major tournaments held at Horter Hall was Hag and Hag, Scotch Foursome, a PGA Tour, LPGA Tour events. Also, a few famous people who have visited this hotel were Paul Newman, Steve McQueen, Ali McGraw, and Mario Andretti. Along with the golf course, there was also the first golf school in the world, along with Harder Hall Golf and Tennis Camp from 1967 and at least 1982. Victor operated the hotel until it was sold in 1982 to a group of investors who went bankrupt, unable to convert their plan to timeshares. The hotel has been unoccupied ever since. A few groups have tried their luck on the extensive renter dressing project, but always came up short. A few times the hotel barely escaped demolition before being put on the National Register of Historic Places. In 2004, Horter Hall was purchased by another investor for, with the hopes of bringing this hotel back to life, but once again ran out of funds in 2006. In July of 2007, Horter Hall was purchased at auction by the City of Sebring and on a final note, this hotel is known by locals as one of the most haunted buildings in Highlands County. Paranormal activities have been filmed on the property of people said to have passed away on this property years ago. I must say, while doing this video April of 2019, an eerie feeling came over me as though the hairs were standing on my back. Haunted or not. 